create a group, you simply type in group. So in the case of say a floor plan like this, you're going to want to use blocks for any object that is repeatable and consistent throughout all of your projects and drawings. And you've got something that you can think in your head, oh, this is going to be useful later on. You're going to want to create a block. But if you just simply want a grouping of objects temporarily, now this is especially useful when you're doing preliminary design and concepts, or you're trying out different room arrangements of multiple blocks even, you can combine your blocks to create a group. To create a group, you simply type in group. So what we can do here is select all of these blocks that we've got here. So you can see in the properties, I've got seven blocks and an M text. So any objects can be grouped together. You simply select your objects and then type in group. This is going to make a temporary object or group that combines all of these other objects. So this could be lines, text, annotation, blocks, pretty much anything within the AutoCAD workspace here can be grouped together. And the default uh, vertex or base point here is going to just be the center of mass of your objects. So what I can do now, now that I have created my group of multiple blocks and objects is type in CO for copy. I can select the entire group and hit enter. It's going to ask me for a base point. I'm simply going to choose the corner of my room here. And now I can quickly and easily move all of these objects around wherever I'd like. So maybe I want to copy them down to this similarly sized room over here. I can simply do that and it's now copied the entire group. So now you've got this grouping of objects, including multiple blocks, and I've moved the entire group of them to another similarly sized room. At any point, you can simply type ungroup and then select your group and it splits them out. So we'll be back to having just my initial grouping of blocks, objects, or text.